Yesterday I was walking around the end of day, I was struggling to capture a photograph of any kind and so my motivation took a bit of a hit. So instead today I've come to quite a popular spot in the Lake District, quite well known place, to just explore it and do a bit of shop bagging to make myself feel better. I have to admit, I can see why it's so popular. It's pretty impressive. Take a look. The first image that I'm going to go for in here is kind of staring you in the face and it's just begging to have a wide angle lens and have the whole scene captured. It's quite an impressive cave and there's mist hanging in the, in the light there and so I think that I'm going to need to bracket uh, just so that I can capture the full range of light that's in here. Um, but I'm going to get set up and take that image. It's easy to get caught up in the scale of a place like this and just want to take big wide shots but there's also loads of details in here. From over there you can see that these uh, plants and ferns that are hanging down from the side are just backlit and illuminated against a complete pitch black background and so I think I'm going to get my long lens out and, and uh, have a go at capturing that in some sort of way. I've tried a few different angles. Um, I've come back onto this side to use these rocks as a kind of a frame, but also to lead your eye into the ferns that are hanging off the side. And uh, I think it looks quite nice. I'll show you what, what I've got on the screen here. So I'm using the black of the rocks just to frame it around the edge slightly, and then a bit of the catch light that will lead the, your eye in and around and then down uh, the ferns as they hang in the light with just the misty darkness behind it. So I just need to take the shot. Yeah? I'll tell you what, compared to the temperature inside there, the temperature outside now feels like I'm in the Bahamas. 
but it doesn't look like it. So you might well have noticed that that's not a natural cave, it's actually part of an old slate quarry. And there's lots of them around this part because the slate mining industry was booming when they were building houses and walls and everything out of it. And that was a hundred or so years ago. But now they're just preserved and nice places to come and have a look around. So with the wide shots, I did capture a few in landscape and portrait and I even experimented with a couple of selfies. I'll put them all up and you can let me know which one was your favourite. But I think I'm going to walk up and around and have a look at it from a different angle and see if there's any more images to get. I have to make this my last shot of the day, but uh, I was walking around this uh, central part of the quarry and noticed this branch took the exact same course of the rock behind it. So I tried it handheld and it seemed to work out. So I've set up and I'm just going to capture it now. I'm maximizing the depth of field as best I can um, so that you can see some detail in the rock and I've got polarizer on to take some shine off. But uh, I think it's nice and I think it's a nice little finish. That was a nice little visit. I'm quite happy with a couple of the images that I've got and I'll check them when I get on the computer, see how they are. But I enjoyed, uh, enjoyed visiting it. It's called Cathedral Quarry, if you want to look it up. But I had to cut the trip short because I'm actually due back in Oxford and it's a mammoth drive, so I have to set off now. So thanks for watching and as always, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought and if you're not yet subscribed then please consider doing so and share this video with anyone that you think might be interested or on your social media. But for now I'll see you in the next one.